What's up everyone? This is Volgris here, and welcome to Tip Tuesday. Tip Tuesday is a new series that I've started in which every Tuesday I will be uploading a video about two to three minutes long, give you guys a very helpful tip in either Sony Vegas, Adobe After Effects, or Adobe Photoshop, and hopefully you guys will enjoy this series. It's going to give you guys some really neat tips that I've learned uh, by using these programs, and hopefully I can share my knowledge in such a way that you guys will really like it. I mean, some of these are pretty interesting. I already got the next couple weeks planned out. This week we have something in Sony Vegas. Next week will be in Adobe After Effects and so on. Now, a uh, couple things I want to talk about. This episode will be a little bit longer than the rest of them will be. But um, as you guys know, I have not uploaded a video in about three weeks. I'm not done with YouTube. I'm still doing it, of course. I just want to take a break. You know, it's the summertime, and I tried making a video. It's just I wasn't really in the mood. And, you know, for me, it's like I have to be in the mood in order to make a video and... Right now I'm in the mood, so I'm making a video, and hopefully every Tuesday you guys will see a video from me. Uh, that's my goal. You know, during the summertime, my schedule kind of just fluctuated so much that I could not produce a video at the same day of every week. Uh, but hopefully, now that the school year is starting, I have a more of a constant schedule that I can upload a video every Tuesday, and uh, you guys should like it. All right, let's get started. So now I'm going to open up Sony Vegas. Uh, I have my clip right here. Let me just drag it to the timeline. I have the audio and the video. So in order to delete the audio, I'm going to click on the audio, hit U, and now hit delete. And I can also delete this track as well because there's no audio on it. Now, uh, let me just play this clip as you guys can see. It's regular speed. I know the quality is really bad, but that's just so you guys can uh, preview it fluently. Uh, as you guys can see, regular speed besides a couple little lag spikes here and there, but it's, for the most part, 100% speed. Now, as many of you guys know, when you're holding control, you will get this little squiggly thing on your mouse pointer and when you drag the end of the clip inward instead of clipping or cutting the clip or um, I don't know what the exact word is but instead of you know cutting the clip short if you hold it in control and drag in you now have the ability to speed your clip up up to 400 percent which means of course four times the speed of the original clip okay I know it's a little bit laggy again like I said but it is four times the speed of the original clip okay now in Sony Vegas this is the most you can speed up your clip using this method and by the method I'm about to show you you can speed up your clip by many more times and it will really help you guys out especially if you do speed arts now like I said this only speeds a clip up about four times well if you're doing a speed art that's you know 30 minutes long that's gonna be a really long video and you might want it to fit the length of your song so if you like to speed your clip up more than four times you could do it I'm about to show you guys and the same thing applies for when you want to drag your clip out if you'd like to make your clip be slower you can hold in control and drag your clip outward and now it is one-fourth the original speed or 25 percent as you guys can see right here the clip is playing in slow motion um, most HDPVRs or dazzles record either 30 or 60 frames a second so slowing down your clip any more than this will make it just be choppy and laggy and it most likely will not look good but for some reason if you would like to make your clip be even more slow motion than this I'm about to show you guys how it's just the exact opposite of making your clip be faster and I uh, will show you guys that right now so I've decided to cut this video short and take out the velocity element of it uh, originally I had about seven or eight minutes of clip actually uh, employed on the timeline and I decided that that was way too long for tip two as you guys can see all of these clips were actually uh, not all of them not like these clips but all of these clips were a part of the timeline as you guys can see, yeah, I imported them into Vegas, but I've decided it would be way too confusing and would take up way too much time. So let's go back to my other Vegas composition and show you guys how you can speed your clip up a lot. So uh, right here I have a folder open up. It's to Yogo HD. Uh, you just want to have your folder open up that you're going to be saving these to. Um, and you're going to hold in control and drag your clip to the left as far as possible. Now that this clip is being played at four times original speed, as you guys can see, if you hold in control and drag it to the left anymore, it's not going to work. You can only speed up your clip 400%, uh, which is four times the original speed. Now, by doing this method, by hitting File, Save As, and then saving it, I'm going to save it to Yogo HD, which is the person I'm editing for currently. Um, if you just save it as whatever file you, you want, I originally I had Speed 1, Speed 2, and Speed 3, I'm going to label this as, um, let's see, I'll label this as YouTube 1, okay? So now I have YouTube 1. What I'm now going to do is I am now going to delete this clip right here. Uh, go to my Yoga HD folder, which is where I saved it to, of course. Then go find YouTube 1 and drag this onto my timeline. Now I have a whole separate clip imported 
which is originally the same clip as this is. It's just it's named something differently. It's called YouTube One as opposed to Quad Feed. And now I can speed up my clip by 16 times as opposed to four. And as you guys can see, yeah, I know it's a little bit laggy, and uh, it's also best if you disable resample as well. Um, depending on what kind of look you're going for, disabling resample is usually the better option. But as you guys can see, this clip is sped up 16 times the original speed of the clip. You can keep doing this. You can continue to do this. Actually, uh, you know, if you have any speed arts, you can just all you have to do is go file, save as, and then save it as whatever you want. I can do YouTube too. So that's pretty much all there is to it. All you have to do is save your video clips as a .veg. Then when you import it to Vegas again, you can speed up your clips even more, and then you just continue to do that process until you have your clips speeded up as much as you would like. Hope you guys liked this tutorial. Hope you learned something new. If not, maybe you'll learn something new next week on next Tutorial Tuesday. Uh, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and uh, have a great day.